Hi everyone, my name is Sonia, and before I go ahead and get into this community needs assessment that I did, I just want to give you a little introduction about myself. I am a graduate student at the University of New England, where I'm studying applied nutrition. I am also a nutritionist in Sacramento, California, and I'm a weight loss consultant. For this presentation, I will be going over a community needs assessment that I did focusing on those who are struggling with um, obesity in Sacramento. I thought it would be appropriate for me to discuss this specific topic since it's one of my passions and hopefully some real solutions do come out of this project. So for this community needs assessment, um, my chosen target population is it includes adults who are 18 to 34 years living in Sacramento, California. It includes both men and women who are struggling with obesity and are of low socioeconomic status. I decided to choose this group as my target population because Sacramento has a way to go as far as its obesity rate and income level. And although it may seem counterintuitive, food insecurity and obesity often go hand in hand. For example, the high prices of fresh produce may restrict low-income individuals um, from consuming healthy food options. So I'm going to give you a little quick background on obesity, then I'm going to go ahead and get into my research and who I spoke with, and then I'll share some of my recommendations for this population. So. Obesity is a global epidemic and it affects individuals of various backgrounds. Those who are struggling with obesity tend to have more than one cause for their health issue, as well as subsequent issues that come with obesity. For example, um, poverty may cause stress, which then may cause emotional eating and depression. Um, there's a multitude of issues to tackle. And even though income is a huge factor that contributes to obesity, the environment and lack of food literacy plays a huge role in contributing. Many don't understand the consequences of overweight and obesity, and many don't seek help until they experience symptoms of underlying illnesses. So although obesity affects those with many different backgrounds, my focus is on individuals in Sacramento, California who are obese specifically, and those who are primarily low income. Um, now the reason why I chose this target population is because firstly, this community um, I personally love to work with, but mostly because it is um, a community in need. According to the California Department of Public Health and Nutrition Policy Institute, um, the prevalence of adult obesity in Sacramento rose from 21.8% in 2001 to 29.1% in 2013 2014. This indicates a need for obesity awareness in this city. Um, I'll start off by telling you a little bit about how my how I did my research, um, and then um, I'll get into my chosen target population, and um, yeah, and then I'll give you some of my recommendations. Sorry. So I did a lot of research for this community needs assessment. I mostly got my information and um, did research through two key informants within the Sacramento community, as well as online research where I gathered um, data and information from scholarly peer-reviewed research articles. Um, I want to give you the background of my key informants. Well, first, uh, let me explain to you what key informants are. Um, there are those who are involved in the community and know what's going on. They can include professionals um, or community leaders or even residents, and they have a particular understanding of the nature of the issues within the community and are able to share their recommendations or solutions to these issues. So, um, so yeah, let me tell you a little bit about, about the key informants that I spoke with. Um, the first one is a dietitian in Sacramento. Um, I chose her because she works one-on-one -on -one with obese patients in the Sacramento County um, through a private practice. She also travels to different countries and helps to find solutions um, to health issues that they may have. And as a part of her traveling job, she learns about many different cultures. 
This really stood out to me because Sacramento is a diverse city where obesity affects many um, different populations. Different cultures have different understandings of health and obesity along with issues that may come along with it. And uh, my second key informant um, is a director of a food bank in Sacramento. Her mission is to feed and educate underprivileged individuals and families in this region. And one of her focus areas is helping those who are struggling with obesity due to low income and, and poverty. So why did I do this research? Well, currently an estimate of 22% of individuals in Sacramento are in poverty. In addition, there's language barriers when it comes to food literacy and healthcare due to the vast cultural differences um, of the rough 495, 234 residents of California, of Sacramento, California. 22.5% are foreign born and about 37.2% speak a language other than English. These concerns all together were my motives for choosing this target population. From research, I found that there are a lot of common concerns within this particular community of interest. Some of those being lack of education, affordable health, such as nutrition and physical activity resources, as well as language barriers. Gyms alone can be unaffordable for those who are struggling with income. So there's a huge need to educate those individuals how to gain the recommended amount of exercise um, from inexpensive or free places. There are some gaps within the services that are offered, such as the need for more education, even incentives to influence these individuals to learn about health. My mission or objective um, is to educate my target population on resources that are available as well as how to be healthier on a budget. But in order to get there, there really needs to be an in-depth understanding of this population and um, a breakdown and break down some of the recommendations to ultimately get to that goal. So for my key informant interviews and research, um, three recommendations were established that would serve to reduce the rate of obesity in Sacramento. The goal of these recommendations is to help promote healthy nutrition and weight loss as conveniently as possible for low income individuals. Um, the first recommendation is to provide more services that cater to non-English speakers to reach more people in need. As I stated earlier, currently there's a communication barrier between some individuals who are obese and community professionals due to language differences. Sacramento is a diverse city where many of those struggling with obesity are foreign born. So by providing more multilingual services, more people in need would be reached. And the second recommendation is to provide more nutrition education and outreach in Sacramento. Um, healthy nutrition is not really made a priority in all settings, and although larger education costs may be a limitation, educational programs would work to promote healthier choices and increase physical activity among participants. Um, there are many ways to promote healthy nutrition for free. For instance, the workplace is a great place to teach nutrition, as well as holding free community classes by nutrition professional volunteers. And lastly, the third recommendation is to create more resources within the community to influence increased physical activity. Many of those who struggle with low income cannot afford gym memberships, but gyms are actually not an, a necessity to be healthy as walking is one of the best forms of exercise actually, um, especially for those who are unable to afford a gym membership. Utilizing the natural landscapes is easy and beneficial and with the development of a more bike friendly environment and the creation of more trails individuals can easily um, increase their exercise resulting in weight loss so along with the recommendations i um, came up with there's still some other needs that i just wanted to address um, and it's just on a bigger scale to make a bigger change. So those three recommendations are really to help this group on a more personal level or one at a time, but to really help this community as a whole and make an even better change to lose weight and maintain weight loss, there's even more to be done 
for example, there's a huge importance of leadership support, organizational engagements, monitoring and regulating follow-ups of clients, allocation and partnership between departments and wellness staff, such as coming together um, to create healthier snacks and vending machines or in the cafeteria. Um, the community and especially community professionals really need to come together to make an even bigger change. And um, in conclusion, as the rate of obesity continues to rise, there is still a growing recognition of the importance of community outreach and the change of environmental factors that contribute to this public health crisis. This research um, sought to explore the role of health professionals in solving this health issue, as well as any gaps that may be filled to overall create a healthy environment for all populations. So that is it for this presentation. Um, thank you so much for watching.